We have groundbreaking news because I never knew that there was a Lidl 20 minutes drive from me. And apparently Lidl, Lidl Bakery is the place. My grandparents swear by Lidl Bakery. Apparently the chocolate donuts, chef's kiss. And when I heard that Lidl Bakery uh, was 20 minutes from me, I thought, you know what? I've seen people do trying all of Lidl Bakery before. And I thought, that could be me. So I'm going to go to Lidl right now and I'm going to buy all of the baked goods and I don't, don't you worry, it won't be going to waste because thank the Lord for freezers. Aren't freezers the best invention you can ever have? Because I'm just going to cut off a bit of every one. I'm going to shove everything in the freezer. I don't know if, <laughs> if the baked goods are even freezable, but I presume they are. It'll be fine. Um, and then we're going to try them all. trips abroad when you can just go to a different supermarket you hear me um but that was fun really enjoyed it back there we have all the bags so let's go and try some baked goods right guys i have laid out all of the little bakery bits the only thing that was annoying was there were no different cookie flavors the only cookie flavor there was left was this one um and the sprinkle donuts had also run out so i've gotten everything all the baked goods now next time maybe i should do bread because there are a lot of breads but i thought we'll start with the baked goods i thought to go for this pizza because i have seen so much about this pizza apparently they have a margarita one but they didn't have a margarita one when i was there this is a veggie pizza with some cheese can you see beautiful let's give it a go that's quite good this is really yummy also there's a fly and i swear i'm gonna I'm gonna, hang on, I need to get, get rid of this fry. Oh, oh gosh, I just went off my chair. A solid eight out of 10. As pizzas go, I love a cold pizza. Controversially may say that a cold pizza is actually better than a hot pizza. I love this. So far, Lidl doing great. This is the love of my sister's life, a cheese twist. Give her a cheese twist and she will be happy forever. She's a savory girl, doesn't like sweet things. Um, whereas me, I'm about balance. I'm, I'm a hot pot. I'll do sweet, savory. I'll juggle in between the both. So this is what it looks like. It's got some little flaps. It kind of looks like Nemo, Lucky Finn vibes. Let's give it. That's really disappointing. I feel like the, there is no cheese in there. Can you see it's just hollow? That is not good. There is like no cheese in it whatsoever. Let me, what's, that literally is bland. It's bland. It's got no flavor. I'd give that a three out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a two is because these lucky fins have really tickled me. Now this has got a little nub in it. This is like a pesto cheese tomato thing. It looks quite nice. It does look, they look really good. I'm actually gonna cut it in half because I wanna get the most, the most potential of flavor, do you know what I mean? It's quite dense. I don't know if you can see how dense that is. She's quite dense. Let's give it a go. It's actually goat's cheese. I thought it was mozzarella. I think it's goat's cheese. I'm not the biggest goat's cheese lover. But it was gonna be like a focaccia. My friend says focaccia. Is that how you should say it? But I feel like focaccia sounds like a flower, doesn't it? We've got a pretzel. Pretzels are very hit or miss because sometimes they are really, really tough. And but other times they just are exactly what the doctor ordered. I remember once seeing a picture of all the pretzels. When you think of the word pretzel, what pretzel do you think of? So right now, if I said pretzel, well, it kind of ruins it because I've just showed you this. But if you, if you were to think of the word pretzel, what pretzel would you think of? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like that. Mmm. That is a good pretzel. That's just like a solid, good, salty pretzel. It's just an all-rounder. I feel like, oh, I really like this. I feel like I'm really... This is my favourite so far, which I was not anticipating. But hey, sometimes life throws a curve, but like you, and you just have to roll the wave. Just ride it. I feel like for the sweet bits, I should get dad down, because I feel like I'm already getting... I'm, I'm already getting and everything's kind of tasting the same and I've only tried four bits. In fact, I can think I can hear him. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I heard pastries. 
Mmm, what a smorgasbord. So I'm trying, eh? Yeah, all of them. You want to? I've already so tried... If I have, if I... Oh, you haven't tried these yet? No, I'm about to. You can oh, join can me. Help. You can pull up a seat. Do you want a coffee? Definitely. Should we get a That's coffee? Pull up a seat. A coffee. We know what that one's like. So this right this here... This is a booth special. I've never had it though. I have. This is the one that Nanny and Grandad buy and they buy it for their whole road, don't they? Yeah. You don't really like these, innit? Yeah, of course I do. He <laughs> wants it all. You want it all, don't you? Mm. Shall we start with... Well, there's one that I'm going to eat all of, all of. This guy? Yeah. I don't want this pan of raisin. So should we just get that done? A little sliver. They're quite nice. Really? I feel like chocolate is the one. Yeah, definitely. How about a little bit? I'm not feeding you like a baby. If you think about it, it's just like an afternoon tea, isn't it? As pan of raisins go, it's just a pan of raisin, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad. The custardy bit's quite nice, yeah, it's actually. Quite, quite crunchy. crunchy. It's actually very soft. Like Cara not the caramelly bit on the top. No, I mean the, the custard. Oh, I don't like that. Really? That's why I don't like them. Okay, let's get through. I wonder if this pan of chocolate is actually going to be <coughs> any Chocolate. good. It looks very good, actually. Look at the layers in that. That's got some nice, like, he's not even waiting. He's just yamming it. It's like too long. That's good. Mm. Again, all of them would be up like another level when they're warm. But the beauty of the, the little bakery is that you can just drive by and buy. Little bakery or Lidl's bakery? Lidl. Oh. It is so little. It's my favorite thing in the world. In the no. world? No. Wow. I'm just making claims. I know where I am then. Chocolate croissant. Dad. Have a booth. Uh -uh. Chocolate croissant, Banksy, Dad. Oh, wow. I love the fact that it's got the hazelnut bit in. Right. And I've tried many of these. Where? Right through the middle. What's that in the middle then? Chocolate hazelnut. Oh, okay. it's like Nutella. Mm. Not quite as good as the prep one. The prep one is the elite tier. But it's better than the Tesco one, I think. No. I'm not getting a lot. I think I prefer the um, Choco Pan. No. Yeah. Actually, this one does feel like a different texture. This it one feels be. denser. No, it does. My pan is so different from that one. No, I mean it's nice as a croissant. I'd eat it mm. again. You would. Mm. You'd go to the door and you'd say, "I'm having that croissant." Mm. Okay, let's try this. It actually looks like a good range, isn't it? Yeah, lots Ooh, of diversity, yum, yum. isn't it? Getting. This right here is the maple peak and plat. I like them. Which is a mum went through a phase once. I don't know if you remember this phase, where she'd go to the supermarket on a Thursday night after school, and all the pastries would be reduced to like five p. And I actually think I have a picture. She bought a tower. She yeah. bought them all. And we, we went through them very quickly. She's a, she's a good girl. <laughs> she, knows, she likes, sees bargain, buys it. There you go. Okay. I've had better ones of those. Nice, but then I reckon that one needs warmth. Little bit raw. Maybe. Little bit maybe not cooked. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the maple and pecan are doing much in that, are they? No. They're not doing a lot of the talking. And if it's called maple pecan, it needs What's that, to. Uh, apple turnover. This, you can forget it. You apple like turnover. it. Yeah. I do quite like apple turnovers. It's Not much good. apple filling. But, but there's some nice cinnamon in there. I hate stewed fruit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I realised to anyone else that looks ridiculous but there's this little video that I can't find to insert of this girl where she's trying to eat her mum's spaghetti and she like can't get it down and it is the funniest thing. If you can find it, I'll link I'll link the video in the top description but I can't download it to in, put into this but please watch it, it is the funniest thing. Um, <laughs> that one always goes It bad. wasn't that bad. I thought it was Again, quite... warm would elevate it. I think the cinnamon in that's quite nice. No? It's alright. Oh, you wouldn't choose it out of all that. Nah. You'd go for Mac and D's. You like that one? I love that one, yeah. Yeah. Mum loves them. You don't love it? No. I thought you love it. No, oh, you're doing that. Of course you're. Well, I don't want loads, but so. Oh. When I actually go there, that is quite nice. The, the um, lamination. The pastry is pastry's lovely. good. A really good and flaky. If we just And the this. taste. The taste is good, actually. You love a yum yum. Oh, yeah, I love a yum yum. One time, my brother's friend came round. <laughs> And he ate Dan's yum yum, and I've never seen no, 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 so no. angry. I've he never didn't seen eat one yum yum. He destroyed the packet, so I didn't even he get didn't a look. Have in. all of them between him and Jesse? They did. Yeah. Yeah, the whole lot. As they should. Gone. If you you know the rule, what's the rule in the house? If it's there, it's there to eat. Yeah, exactly. If you want yeah, I was your also food, there. you have to put it in a different cupboard. If it's out, it's for anyone. 
We have to establish rude. these rules okay. because Jesse offered it to me. As you can tell, the booths are very protective over food. He was not happy, buddy. I was triggered that day. He really wanted his yum yum. We actually had to do a lot of those rules, but then people started hiding food in their, in their room. There's something in there. Mm, a yeah. butterscotch moment, perhaps. Nice. That's crunching the outside. You know what? And again, hot. Ooh. Shove that in the air fryer, and it get a bit mm. yum yum stuff. What? I watched your air fryer in the bedroom. Did you? Yeah. I quite enjoyed it. It's good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you never watch my videos. Who, me? Yeah. I do occasionally. Every now and then. It was good. Thank you. Not quite up to deer meat for dinner, but you know, <laughs> deer meat for dinner, you either know or you don't. It's his favourite. He'll watch it loud now. It's light and not too greasy. Yeah, Normally it's like. Crisp, crispy on the outside. That's a really good yum yum, guys. Mm. Would recommend to a friend. Get this muffin out of the way. Yeah, we're not a muffin family. To me, no. Why? You need blueberries. There are. It just looks like a gel. That's a gel being put in. Yeah. This squirt of cream or whatever it is. It's all right. I'm not writing home to anyone about that. I think someone who really likes blueberry would like that. It's got a good flavour. Mm, it's quite blueberry. Else. Do you not think? I don't like it. You need blueberries. You need that little edge on a blueberry. That has got the edge. Mm. I quite like that. No, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy it. No, no. But if if I was at someone's house. Littles. <laughs> we should get buzzers like in Britain's Got Talent. Would you eat it again? Mm -hmm. Get a golden buzzer. You're through to the finals. I know it's going to be full. I that hope it is. Be through. For me, this is a surpriser. Mm -hmm. It's like when Susan Boyle came on. Not <laughs> for much, and then bam. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I'm not a lover of brownies. You don't like all of the things that I regularly bake. <laughs> you never do brownie chunk. like I like. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> you, don't do it, you don't do it with nuts, and I love brownie with nuts. I do do it with nuts, do but you? it's whether Mum has them or not, isn't mm. it? Mm. Really? Mm. It's okay. Oh, it, it claimed that it was the ultimate brownie. Don't, don't make a claim like that if you can't live up to it. Mm. Self-praise is no recommendation, even for a brownie. But then sometimes self praise is needed. You've got to hype yourself up sometimes. If you go into a job interview. That's called confidence. So it's a fine line. Mm. I'd have that again. Really? Mm. Because again, that's cooked. It's, it's a not bit too floppy. crisp mm. on the outside. It's quite like that. It's a bit more biscuit territory we're diving into. I wouldn't say that that was a good cookie. Oh, I like that. Okay. Right, now we've got the, the. cookies going. I'm saying, do we say it, save the Belgian bun till last or do you want to do that yeah, now? Yeah, Belgian, um, because I'm going to eat all of it. Oh yeah, okay, we'll wait till last. What should we go for now? I love this. Mm -hmm. I love it when you can go, boop, do you know what I mean? Am I going to get in the middle? I know someone, they did a gender reveal the other day with donuts and they filled the inside with blue oh, for really? the boy. How fun is that? Clever. So we have a bit knew. into it. Everyone knew it was boy anyway. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. I knew that. How did you know that? They told me. Well, yeah, that was after the gender reveal. Oh, was it? Obviously. They went on oh, the gender before. When did they find out the gender? They found it out ages ago. Yeah, the other day when they did a gender reveal. No, I think they before that. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. We discovered a new no. <laughs> See, that's a, just a spoiler alert. There's quite a lot. Yeah, but it needs to be eh, eh. It, it feels a little bit have, dry. If you have one chunk out of that, you get no, no out of that. No, oh, it's you got some. There. Cheers. Chin chin. chin. The powderness reminds me of when I went to Florida and Dad would literally Eat the mini powder ring donuts by the pool. By the pool. Oh. Don't you love the beer? Oh, yeah. Love my legs. Mm, I'm definitely that. <laughs> definitely a better donut than that. It's nothing special. It is a little bit dry. A little bit leave it. Okay. I bet they're. Do you reckon they're fried? Why would they do a baked donut? That's not a donut, that's a cake. That doesn't look like brownie. No, it doesn't look like that. No, apple. it's an like apple I. That is where my trust issues lie. <laughs> Thinking I'm going to get a brownie donut and then I get apple. That looks like a Jaffa. Oh, a Jaffa donut. You're going to love oh, this then. Is it a brownie donut? Trust issues. I don't mind that. But then, and I think it's a better donut than that donut. Mm. Texture, softer. That Jaffa tastes like how medicine. How can that be so wrong? That... How can it be so wrong? Like, how can that be different? Don't you just have the same batch? That is disgusting that jaffa tastes like medicine no i like that oh. i reckon i probably like that better than the chocolate one well, that we're about to eat let's let's see then mm. nan and granddad will not be impressed with you dad will they i'm gonna tell them say try the jaffa try the jaffa one there is loads of it there is loads see why why can how can you do that there but you only do 
Uh uh. This is cool because it's an ultimate. The ultimate, isn't it? Yeah, but Randy owes words, don't they? Why well, you're making a real hack of that? Yeah, I am. Very nice. For me, a bit too much. Really? I don't say that often, do I? No. I I can hack a lot of sweet, but I think the sauce is too much in the middle. There's a lot of it. Yeah. See, that's I actually do prefer that. You prefer the jackal? Yeah. We'll have to text Nanny and Grandad and let them know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're in the X Factor finals with this. But this I think is... it. I think I, I already know. I think it should be a little bit more gooey on top, like the really? glaze. Yeah. There's not much glaze. I think you're going to be slicing. really disappointed. I think I might be. I feel like anyway. this is going to let you down, Dad. I, I do like a Danish. Oh, it's, can you hear how dry it is? Mm. Do you? Oh dear. We've only got one raisin. That is not. Oh. <laughs> he does not want to cut that one. Oh dear. Dry. Not enough raisins. And you know when you do the swirl. Yeah, you should get flavoured. You, put, you should put that like apricot jam type stuff in. Yeah. With all then of it. you just rolled it. There's nothing in there. No. Look at that. Not good. You're not happy, are you? Mm -mm. Oh, you're so excited. It's all right. Mm. But when you've had others that mm. are, it's all right. Coughlin's do a better one than that. Really? Mm -hmm. What would you say is the best thing? You didn't try any of the pastry bit, the, the savouries. Mm. I don't know if we've just picked a bad day. Because well, things were a bit bad. dry. They no, were they weren't dry. bad, but some of them I feel like were dry. For me, favourite, pretzel, weirdly. Isn't that weird? Really? Yeah, the pretzel was really good. And I wouldn't like go and run and get it, but the yum yum for me was the best mm. surprise. And I do like the chocolate hazelnut, but I always like those. Probably yum yum. Yeah, that yum yum was really good. I do like the Jaffa cake. I don't think I'd get that, 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 that donut. The powdered jam, jam donut. Powdered jam donut, Wolf. Ooh, no. And a pan of raisin. Pan of raisin, mm. poor thing. What did I ever do to you? Well guys, thank you for joining me on this little adventure. Maybe we'll have to do this. Me, one. me. Us. Thank you for joining us on this little adventure. So a little. Maybe we'll have to do it for all the bakeries. M&S? <laughs> yeah, get in. Yeah? Local bakeries. Yeah. We've all got to support them. Yeah, obviously. Big shout out for them. Yeah. There's one down the road and the queue is massive. What coffins? No. Yum yum. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, thanks. Oh yeah. And... <laughs> He's out. <laughs> you must know. Subscri yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. And. Like. And. Everything else you got to do. Yay. Yeah, we'll leave it Hello. there. Hello. It's going to be a long time. Notifications, a little bell, you know, if you press on there, it's a bit. He's good. I've never asked him ever in my life to do that. Really? Yeah. Oh, notifications are really important. Yeah. Like I never miss a deer for me. Deer meat for, me. <laughs> <laughs> deer meat for dinner. Because you have the notifications on. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> That's a bit pressured. Right, love you all loads. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.